Melissa. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick trick and hack that I use to help laminate when I am cutting heat transfer vinyl on my Roland. Um, so sometimes it can be difficult to mask and then pull off that heat transfer onto the uh, mask so that you can then apply to the shirt. So instead of burnishing really hard or instead of trying to, you know, sometimes you get bubbles depending on what kind of material you use. This is, I get the worst bubbles when I use uh, Caesar's S print. It's a really thin material, which is great. However, it can be very difficult and challenging to mask. And if you mask it wrong and get bubbles or get wrinkles or it starts kind of tearing, forget it, you have to reprint. So what I have started doing is using a cold laminator and it makes it really, really easy to mask. I am now have started using this for all of the EcoSolvent HTV that I use. So I'm gonna show you how quick it is to use. So first thing, um, you want to make sure that your design is already cut and weeded. So this is already weeded. You can see there's some little um, delicate parts here. Each of these petals is um, an individual piece. So it needs to be picked up on the mask. So this is, I'm using high tack mask here. Um, and then I have my cold laminar, laminator back here, which I will link to in the description and above. Um, and I'm gonna pull you a little closer so you can see how I'm going to do this. Okay, so first thing that you wanna do is you wanna get your mask. I have this piece of mask, it's a little bit big, so I'm going, um, I'm going to cut it down so that it's about the same size as my design. All right, so I don't wanna waste any. Okay, and then we will, we don't need this piece, and then we will take the backing off the mask. Okay, so once I have the backing off the mask, now what I like to do is I like to hold the mask um, in kind of like a U position, straight above the HTV, and put it down the center first, okay? And then just cover it. Now, obviously, um, you need this to be burnished really well in order to pick it up off of um, the backing of the heat transfer vinyl, and that's where the laminator is gonna come in. So I'm gonna trim so that I don't have any of the sticky mask sticking off. I don't want that getting stuck to my laminator, okay? Then, this laminator is a 14-inch laminator, cold laminator you can also they also sell this in a 25 inch size um but what you're gonna do is it just it's all hand done so you're just going to hold this little wheel you can hear it kind of popping that's okay and you're just gonna roll it back and forth a couple of times now these are the pressure knobs you want to make sure that there's pressure but not too much pressure because too much pressure will actually cause bubbles okay all right so once you've got it on there you can see it's Kind of well maybe you can't see but i can see that there's kind of um it's laminated right around there which is great now the next thing that i do is i actually pull the backing off as opposed to trying to pull it up so the easiest and kind of scariest way to do this is to literally rip it off like a band-aid okay so if you do it real fast like that you hopefully will not get any bubbles, which I did not in this case, okay? So you can see that now my entire design, even though these even these little teeny pieces are all ready, and this is now ready to be applied to the shirt and then pressed with a heat press, or I guess you could use an iron if you wanted to try that, um, and then this clear carrier sheet would peel off itself. So cold laminator, super, super helpful uh, for laminating not just adhesive vinyl, but also HTV as well.